Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I have a, an interesting diagnosis case in here. This is a 2010 uh, BMW, let me see, it's a 335i, and the customer complained it's a check engine light on or services, service engine light on. I already did a, a code reading, at least to find out uh, what the codes are, and I have the Dry Pro connected right now. Sorry for the glare. The ignition is on. I'm just running right now some of the the tests to see the pressures. As you can see, the low side. Let me get a, a closer look. So we have on the low side uh, 5.5, which was five, and on the high side, which is the rail pressure, which was 50 uh, bar. This is in bars. Uh, is right now on nine and is going down. That's what I had the ignition on. You know, so this pressure should hold uh, pretty much actually on a warm engine should raise to like the maximum. And then if it has a relief valve, that should release the pressure. And this is a GDI system with a high pressure system, obviously. So I have uh, also my five gas analyzer connected because I want to know if I, on the startup I get high hydrocarbons, then we have uh, leak injectors. The codes that I have on the car is uh, link codes on both bank. And uh, let me show you one second. Day. I send this to my mail. Pretty soon I might be recording a, a repair on a Maserati. I'm not sure if I will be doing it or not. Uh, so we have, this is the description. So it's actually a, a 929, it's a bean, it's A, so it should be 2010, so I think it's a 10. So we had uh, three codes, hopefully you guys can see that. So these are the B&W um, uh, numbers. So mixture control two is bank two and mixture control is uh, bank one. And then we have this one, it says fuel high pressure plausibility cold start. One good thing that uh, Autologic gives in the description of the codes, let me open this one up and you can see, and this is uh, the 29E1 and you can see it says also P0174, which is what we are used to see, system two lean bank two. And these are the entries of the code three times. RPMs, uh, intake manual pressure, they don't give you much information as far as uh, freeze frame, but uh, this is good for me. So we have, like I said, um, both bank lean. Let me get the order open yeah you can see right there 1090 is p0171 so we got both uh bank lean so do we have injectors leaking in both banks or we have a high pressure pump uh leaking so uh, i'm going to start a car i think my gas analyzer is ready yeah so let me connect the hose i gotta do this with one hand so bear with me And let me see how I'm gonna do this because this is a manual transmission. So let me see if I don't break anything of my scanner in here. And this is what I wanted to catch. Well, one thing before I started, look at the pressures. It's almost equalized. It shouldn't, it, that shouldn't happen. All right, so hopefully this will catch that up. I'm expecting to see high hydrocarbons. It's going to take a little bit to read. Come on. I'm not sure if the pump is running or not. No, it's running. I might have lost the, the chance or lose the chance. But now it's reading, but come 
come on. It's still reading like the host is not even connected. I can feel the pump going on the on the tool. Just you know, grabbing my hand in here. I should have already readings. I can see the O2 is down. I don't think I was able to pick it up. Probably not warm enough because it's impossible. Those are, those are the readings. Very slow. And yes, the hose is in one of the, uh, of the outlets of the muffler of the, or the exhaust. Something is not right. Change to the next reading. Something is not reading. For some reason, it's not reading. So let me try to hook this up the right way, and I'll be right back, guys. Well, since the car is running, I want to show you what the pressure is. This is normal pressure at idle. And one test you can do with the GDI system is let it, you know, stabilize a little bit. As you can see, uh, well, hopefully, if I can show you, it's, uh, you know, like 600 RPMs. So what I'm about to do is turn it off and put the ignition back on. That should hold the pressure. And we'll see this lose the focus. Still, it's not really any CO, any CO2, or any hydrocarbon, which is not possible. Pump is still running. Let me shake it back. I'm ready, my guys. All right, guys. Uh, I have to take that tool apart because it's probably when they deliver or something, it came off. But now it's working. Hopefully those numbers are readable. Yeah, it looks like uh, they are. So I connect the software even on the on these systems. It's from a snap when you can use the Verus Pro to check the reading. So I can leave the analyzer on the back and then we'll use this on the front. So one second, guys. I know it's going to look weird, but I have to organize myself again in here. Look at the pressures. So pretty much there is stabilized. So I'm going to start a car and I'm going to let you watch the, the hydrocarbons and so, which I expect to go up. My car is running. Okay, look at the hydrocarbons. 300 and something. Gonna let us stabilize. This is neat. The, at least you can have a bigger screen because that thing is so small. So you're choosing 12.7. Doesn't show me a link condition like that. The CO2, sorry, the CO is in 0.5. Hydrocarbons are high, at least for emissions, not for, not for what we have. The O2 content is in 1%, which is okay. I would like to see that in less than 1%. And the CO2 higher than 14, 13, 14, but it's still it's not so bad. You can see the air, air fuel ratio is in point uh, 15. 
So yes, it's a little bit on the lean, on the lean side, but right now the pump is running good. All right, let me see if I can accelerate the car. That's like around 3,000 RPM. Sorry for the glare, guys. Now let go. It's actually on the ridge on on the ridge side, not on the lean side. On the lean side. So right now we had no issue with that. Let me stop this, and I, I want to see the first startup. All right, gonna do the test again. It drops the pressure really fast. So as you can see right now, we're almost the same on the high pressure than the low pressure side. I got the five gas running, so I'm going to start a car uh, now. I want to see the CO readings and the CO2 hydrocarbons as well change. Look at the CO as in zero, and the CO2 is very low. And then as soon as it stabilizes, you can see the hydrocarbon goes up, the CO2 gets into normal readings, and the CO2 start reading, I'm sorry, the CO start reading normally, which should be around, see like almost 13% on the CO2, that's the normal reading. And now the oxygen is in like 0.2. That's a normal car uh, running. 27 parts per million on the hydrocarbons. 13% CO. So that is reading correctly. And it's almost no oxygen content. That means the cats are working. But as soon as it starts, it's really lean, and then it stabilizes. And right now, the pressures are as where they should be. So everything is pointing to me as a pump. I don't have high hydrocarbons. If it would be like a leak injector, which you have unburned fuel on the cylinders, and that would also create like a misfire, which we don't have on this case. Right now it's running really, really good emission wise. Look, look at that. And the good thing to see is, like I said, the CO2 and 30%, that means it's, 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 it's good. Hydrocarbons 16% or 16 parts per million is fine. And look at the air fuel ratio, 14.7. That is perfect. So we do have a problem with the high pressure pump. All right, guys, uh, this is as much as diagnosis I want to show in this video. Hopefully, these uh, shed a light to some that are having issues with these cars. The fire gas analyzer is just a confirmation to not have to go into the cylinder to see injectors leaking or not. This is a pump, no doubt about it, that is uh, dropping pressure. All right, guys, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.